They alienate us in the world. They serve as a recruitment tool for terrorists and increase the will of our enemies to fight us while decreasing the will of others to work with America. This recruitment tool theory has become something of a mantra lately, including from the president himself. Nothing to do with Gitmo. When the president uh, said in his speech that, it, uh, th that the existence of Gitmo probably created more terrorists than have ever been held there, he meant to say that 770 people or more became terrorists because we have a prison at Guantanamo? The fact is, the 3,100 Americans who were killed on 9-11 were killed before there was a Guantanamo. And what is his story? He went to Iraq. He went. He saw Abu Ghraib pictures. I want to remind the former speaker that Major Matthew Alexander, who has actually interrogated Al Qaeda suspects in Iraq, attributes half of the deaths of Americans in Iraq to the detention abuses at Abu Ghraib and Guantanamo. Continue Guantanamo unfortunately makes our troops less safe. Let me say first of all there were over 550,000 troops who served in Iraq. I'm sure you can find one to agree with you. This military. Well I've advocated for a long time now that it needs to be closed. Uh, Uh, with respect to Guantanamo, I think that the, the closure in a responsible manner, obviously one that uh, is certainly being worked out now uh, by the Department of Justice. I talked to the Attorney General the other day. Uh, they have a very intensive effort ongoing to determine, indeed, what to do with the detainees who are left, uh, how to uh, deal with them in a legal way, and if uh, in continued uh, incarceration is necessary, again, how to take that forward. But doing that in a responsible manner I think sends uh, an important message to the world as does the commitment of the United States to uh, observe the Geneva Convention when it comes to the treatment of detainees. Uh, Guantanamo has become uh, a major, major problem for America's perception as it's seen, the way the world perceives America. And if it was up to me, I would close Guantanamo, not tomorrow, but this afternoon. I, for one, have, uh, have advocated the closing of Guantanamo, not only since I left uh, the position as secretary, but while I was secretary, because I thought there were other ways to handle this in our civilian court system, with military court martial, or through the, through the federal court system. And I thought we were paying too high a price for Guantanamo in terms of the public opinion around the world we were losing. And frankly, the moral basis of our fight against terror uh, was being undercut by Guantanamo and all the people who could point to Guantanamo and say, is this justice? How long should Gitmo remain open? <clears throat> Until the war is over. Well, when is that? We, when the terrorists disappear. I mean, you're facing... Well, you're talking about a pretty long-term yes, proposition you, you, here. Because this is a long-term proposition. People out there today... People have been there four, five, six, now seven years. How long do you plan to keep them without doing something about it?